Okay. There's an awful lot of ways to interact with your patient on a daily basis that isn't going to cost you incrementally that much more money, mm -hmm. right? You could create scale around the, put a bunch of clinicians and nurse practitioners and whatever in a, in a building and they are your digital arm. And we're not talking a, a thousand of them. We're talking 50 of them because they're going to be able to handle thousands of digital interactions and so you create that model and now you can scale that way beyond what you could the traditional campus and building and clinic. And you can increase your touch points. Even if you increased it, you, you doubled it to two, you're better off than you were before, but just know this every day you don't do something around digital. There's a competitor out there trying to figure out how am I going to deliver care with 60 touch points a year? A hundred touch points a year, 200. I want to help them with all their health decisions, their mm -hmm. eating, their exercise, their breathing, their caring for their parents, their figuring out their insurance bill. I mean, all those are opportunities for a digital disruptor to come in and that's where they live. That's where they're spending all their time right now. And one of the things Glenn and I talked about was when Haven failed healthcare breathe a sigh of relief and said, see, I told you so. It's a lot harder than you think it is. And Glenn came back with transparent. You know what transparent is? It's Haven. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at it, I'm going, dude, this is all the promise of Haven, except yeah. it's being built by somebody who really understands healthcare, really understands yeah. the incentives and has yeah. access to, they've raised over a hundred million dollars already. So I understand the business side of it. I felt like Haven was a little bit too much think tank and not enough on the, you know, nuts and bolts of how do you run the business.